ministry is where we influence and encourage free thought. It's also a place where we try to adhere to love and um, some aspects of social responsibility. So tonight, y'all, we have the- Oh, it's like it's- um. Crystal Renee with us. Crystal, what's up, lady? And she might be delayed. You got I that, Crystal? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I wonder why. How did that happen all of a sudden? Yeah, they hear both of us, Crystal. She can't hear us. She can't hear us. Okay, I'm about to chat you right quick, Crystal. I can't hear you. I wonder why. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to be on the live. Hold on. Is it? Um... Yeah, they hear both of us, Crystal. Okay, well, let's go then. I think I'm going to keep it. I can't hear her on the computer no more. Are you on mute? No, I want to hear her on the computer. So, can you hear me on the computer? You might have to turn your volume down on on the um, social media because it'd be. A yeah, I just cut it. I just cut, cut it off. Yeah, so I was gonna say that's the last I'll shoot on. Okay. You got us. Yes. All right. Thank you, ma'am. All right. So before we before we get to you, boo. And me and Chris might pop in and out because that's what happens over here. We do magic. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my sponsors. Um, I don't have y'all logos tonight. Forgive me. I had this Mercury Retrograde. We had some issues over here. So shout out Final Cut Multimedia. Shout out at TY Little. Shout out Another Quality Lifestyle. Shout out Protected Hearts Apparel Clothing Line. Check them out. Mark doing great things. And shout out my right-hand man, Bo Black. He will return eventually at some point. Um, next week, join us. We have Jock City, the famous author, joining us. We also have, in the following week, the female and male guys and gals. Yeah. So y'all make sure y'all check that out. All right. So, Crystal. Yeah. Crystal Renee. Yeah. <laughs> you could do um, The beautiful Crystal Renee. You are um, a singer, a songstress. You obviously are a writer. You are a dancer as well, mm -hmm. and you also um, model. So, so many different yes. things, so many different talents. How long have you been doing each, and which one is like your favorite, like your baby? Oh, dang. Oh, I've been singing since I was about hmm, seven years old, but I feel like uh, my family found out when I was like 11 or 12. Um, Damn, dancing? I probably started dancing when I was about um, nine in school. What else you say? Because I'm, I'd be like, I do something. <laughs> modeling. I started modeling when I was um, eighteen with Gideon. I don't know if you know who Gideon is. I've been walking, but yeah, I was a QOP model and I started modeling at eighteen. But I, what I love most is dancing. I love dancing most, but overall, I just like entertaining. So I try not to choose. I hate for people to ask me to choose, <laughs> but well, I just I'm like you don't. I'm glad you don't. We got a couple of photos here we want to run through, and we're going to ask you some questions, and maybe you could talk through some of the photos as we go through them, too. Um, so yeah, y'all, talk about Tuesdays live with Crystal Renee, but uh, beautiful, like just beauty. Um, what... What made you decide to model? Was it somebody that came to you or you just like, you know what, let me show off this beautifulness? Plenty of people coming to me. I feel like probably trying to exploit me when I was young and shit, but um, people coming to me, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. Hey, you, can't then, just, you can't just say that without, you know, I'm gonna ask some questions. But I was now. saying it, okay, well, <laughs> you know, older men, you know, when I, I think I got 15 and started wearing heels and stuff like that. And older men would be like, oh, come to me when you get 18. I got a job for you. Weird little stuff like that. Yeah. And, you know, then you just start feeling yourself and people tell you cute. And then, yeah, there you go. Was modeling one of the last things, uh, you know, of your talents that you had? Was it one of the last things that you began to develop? Yep. Yep. How 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 can you relate? How can you relate your modeling to the you know the rest of your art that you like to express so much? I see this beauty that you have. I, I like all the colors and everything. It's just popping the melody, everything. It just means so much to to uh, to just, just just the black community, the black world, the black family, and just seeing you in your hair and the different different shades and the different tones and, and makeup and things. It's like you're doing it all. So. How does this modeling relate back to the rest of the art that you're that you're expressing? 
to the rest of the art, I feel like it's included in everything. So even when you're dancing, you're modeling, when you're singing, you're modeling. I don't know. It's just, I feel like that just go with everything. Quiet on the set, quiet on the set, quiet on the set. Sorry, Crystal. We got a full house, but it's all love. Like this, that's the love we got in the building. Oh, um, to, follow up, to follow up on Chris, um, modeling is a very tough industry, particularly around like social media and its mm-hmm. impact and how that's changed everything, right? Mm-hmm. And to be a woman of color, and particularly a darker skin tone woman of color, um, mm-hmm. what what's that like? Like, what's been your experience with that? Because you have colorism that exists. Yeah. And that happens between just different shades of people within your own culture, mm-hmm. but then you get racism from opposite cultures, and then you have sexism as a thing too. So how is that? How have you seen that play out? Um, being in situations where they um, choose all light skinned girls, I've seen that, and then they probably choose one, you know, dark skinned girl. When I've been at castings and stuff like that. Um. I, you have to say the question again a little more, <laughs> but that's how that's the only that's the only way that I've experienced it. Uh, and then just walking in places, just knowing. Um, I don't know. It's kind of. It's funny because I, I know that they see you when you're in those rooms, when you're in those spaces, and I know that you stand out because of what you know. Javon just talked about, uh, you know, the, the stereotypes of of what or the typecast of of what a model should look like, especially a black woman. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. it's, it's usually lighter skin. Uh, a lighter, lighter skin tone, but I know they see you, you know, so how does that make you feel when you know the, the people desire your look and you actually represent the majority of the planet? How does that make you feel when you get, you know, if you if you ever been snubbed? I don't feel like I ever been snubbed, but okay. Um, since I've been dark skin my whole life, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> and been called, you know, black, ugly, all this stuff since I, I don't know. I started modeling at 18, so I was kind of used to everything, just had an understanding. And I don't know, you just got to love yourself at that point. And I love it. I love it. So what is this? Like, this is like, I'm like, girl, you're giving me hair. You're giving me body. Like, what is <laughs> this photo shoot? Who came up with this concept? Um, me, I came up with the concept. Um, then I reached out to Artist Brown over here, photographer Artist Brown. Um, I just wanted to do, really, I did like a at-home type of laundry thing. Um, so uh, it's just a simple little two-piece, but that's just what we did in the laundry room. So, in the laundry room, girl? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they nice. I'll be posting. <laughs> Beautiful. So, <laughs> I love you. you know, the way to monetize your, your, you know, your talents beyond modeling is also the clothes that you that you that you're uh, modeling you're also selling those as well um not this but I, I was actually about to make this one of mine um but yeah i do sell t-shirts um zodiac t-shirts for the most part Woo-woo. uh yeah <laughs> i don't know um do we cuss on here <laughs> but oh yeah but they um <laughs> you already looked them up y'all must have already looked up the shirts and everything i, I, I saw some i saw some we do we we, we do in background investigations. <laughs> <laughs> got one. I forgot that you know. Okay, hold up. Hold on. So I got. I got all the zodiac signs. That was so. That was so on point. But I got all the zodiac signs, and it's just fuck with uh whatever your sign is. Um, I got more coming out. You know, say fall in love with. Um, you don't have to get the fuck. You can get P H U C K, or you can just get like Libra <laughs> gang stuff like that. So I got every sign, you know, and they fifteen for women, twenty for men, and stuff like that. So are the women's shirts like fitted, like women fitted? Yes, yes, they are. Yep. I'm gonna get some Scorpio ones, girl. I gotta get some Scorpio ones. Yeah, yeah, I gotta get you one. <laughs> that was on point. All right, so beautiful photos. Like I went through, I have my favorites. This is like the roundaway girl. Yeah. Most yeah. Time. I love mm-hmm. that. I like it. <laughs> that's a throwback. Ooh. That's a, that's a throwback, but honey, they all matter. How about that? Look at that. <laughs> still, when you can throw it back and still look fierce, honey. Hello. Okay. Uh oh. I love this. What's going on here? What's going on right here, Chris? Let's stop. Let's explain this photo right here. 
<laughs> you like that one? Yeah, what's going on? What was what was what was behind? What was what was the, the, the method to your madness in this one? It was downtown. I was walking on the water, you know, booty out, uh, everybody watching. You gotta feel bad. You just you just gotta be there and <laughs> get it done. They say you're not on you, huh? What 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 goes in your mind like during these shoots? Like if you're having a bad day and you pissed off, you got a bill to pay, a motherfucker did you grump, like how do you channel all that, get it out the way and like just get focused? Um, I talk to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I pray and I talk to myself. I just be like, bitch, get it together. You know what I'm saying? I just do, I do all of that stuff. I don't know. Self-talk matters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What are some of the um some of the companies? You you working with any, any companies with you know with your photos? What are you doing with them? Are they being shopped in different magazines or or whatever? I don't know. I don't um only if a photographer decides to submit it, like um, Chris Burton, my friend, he's a photographer. If he decides to submit something, I'm fine with it. But for the most part, I do it as a part of my music and just, mm. yeah, my brand. Your brand, give, yeah. Give people updates, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And to be creative, right? This is one of my favorite ones right that's, here. That's fly right there. Yeah. I'm like, are you happy? Like, what's going on here? Like, that was my birthday. And that was that, you know, Key, Key, do you love me? Are you riding? That was that. I Rick Porter caught that. I did that in the middle of the street downtown. And that was, yeah, that was my birthday photo shoot. I was happy. Oh, you were stopping cars. <laughs> yeah, That's when I was dancing, you could see the dance moves. And he just caught it like that. That was Rick Porter. Do you think that dance helps you with posing? Because it's a yeah, lot of models. A, a whole bunch. A whole bunch. <laughs> OK. That matters. That matters a lot. Yep. And then we got you really in the parking lot, honey. Yes. Yeah. I met some nice people that day. They actually saw me. Then they came up to me and got my Instagram and stuff. And they still follow me. That was years ago. Like, but I met some nice people right there. Yeah, this is, I like this one. This is one of my favorites. Um, so what are your thoughts on sexual expression? Do you consider yourself conservative, liberal? Like, what's your view on that? I know you get a hard, hello, Uh-oh. hello. Uh-oh. Girl, no. <laughs> <laughs> I am sexy. I like being sexy. I'm okay with being sexy. Um, man, follow me on OnlyFans, Coco Renee. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm okay with it. I'm I'm pretty open with my sexuality. I try to keep certain stuff under control only because I know that it's like really like my little sister be watching me, and other little girls are probably watching me stuff like that. But at the same time, I'm like I gotta live my life, you know, and be who I am. But you know, <laughs> so ain't nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah, you're comfortable in that. This is um, this reminds me dancer all day. I love. Oh it. yeah, oh, yep. Baby. That was like when I was in in ballet a lot. I it see the soul. I see the form. <laughs> yeah, we got that dance thing, so I, I got it. I see it. Mm-hmm. Hmm, I love it. Yeah. And then you're a singer too. So we're going to actually um, check out some of your videos in a second. Um, a couple of them that I had on deck um, that I really enjoyed. And I, I just think like um, your voice is so versatile. And I really didn't realize that initially. Um, but to hear and listen to some of the stuff, I'm like, okay, this girl is banging. Like she really got it going on. So um, question before we actually start to watch some of the videos. How do you create your music? Do you write your songs too? I write, but and I sit down with my friends. Um, I tell them about what's going on with me, and yeah, and we just go. <laughs> hmm. So you have a team of like writers that work with you and people like that. I wouldn't really say I got a team, but I got I got my friends. My friend, I, all my friends are talented. That's that's kind of my thing. Like I don't really have friends that don't have talent, and I'm just I don't know. <laughs> but that's who I always surrounded myself with. People they got some type of something. So it's organic. It's just how however it flows, mm-hmm. however it comes out. Yep. So when we listen to your music, do you think that people can, you know, can they automatically see the, the, the relationship between all of your art forms, the dancing, the music, the modeling, you know, how would you define your music? What do you want people to see you as? <laughs> um, what do I want people to see it as? Uh, entertainment entertainment for the most part okay you got any favorite songs on there is any, any any song in particular i like that song huh any songs of mine yeah any, any, any one in particular that you that really stands out 
and said, this is me. This is who I want the world to see me as. Um, the hit different, which is my most recent. Uh, I'm releasing something in a couple of days, but the, but as far as what I have out, the hit different is the most updated. We're actually gonna check that out, Crystal. Um, okay. Okay. You know that? Just a second. I, you know, I gotta prompt stuff and get it together, girl. It'd be <laughs> okay, that's a bit different. Okay. Um, but I checked it out. I was like, okay, she is really like really going there. Okay, let's let's make it do what it do. So we're gonna just share this. Um, I got this off of your Facebook page. Uh, but um, this is uh, a cover of the hit song Hit Different. So we're gonna check it out now. J-Hub, so me, myself, and J-Hub wrote it. He's a writer that I work with, and he's actually a writer, and not, not more so, um, was a writer first and then became friends. Most of them were friends first and then writers, but I hit him up. I was going through some stuff. I hit him up, and I asked him to write me something to that. He wrote as far as he can go, sent it back to me. I finished it and did it in a couple, couple days, and yeah. <laughs> I like it. It's a story with that one, but yeah. And Chris, I, my, my, my favorite part is the pudge. Chris got a favorite like part of the video. <laughs> you don't a tell favorite girl part. got a pudge now. Shit, that's what we like when you talk. Oh about. my god! <laughs> Something to hold on to, girl. Yes. <laughs> All right. So we got a couple of comments in the um, comment section. Love your hair, Crystal. Black is beautiful. Um, she is very beautiful. Uh, so yeah, a lot of different comments on uh, just admiring your beauty, huh? I'm I'm on the pudge part. <laughs> I try to tell him. I know you don't take no offense to that. Like what? I know you don't take no offense. I'm not. To that. I'm... <laughs> um. No, no. You know us men, we like something to grab on but to. But you looking at it right now, you don't see a, a pudge. I no, it don't. The pudge I'm not even gonna get it. Oh, let, let's get this straight. Pudge don't mean fat. Or, you know that you're not proportioned nothing like that you are black girl magic you a real black girl that's how I, that's how i see you right. i'm saying you ain't fake yeah. and it's real and yeah. it's real yeah yeah so okay. yeah i'm working on it though well, one of the things <laughs> no, no, that I, I really like <laughs> about your voice is it's very versatile and um i got that in checking out um one of your older songs from back in the day so we're just going to take a look at this one <laughs> This is all night long, Crystal. Oh, okay. Like, where's she gonna go with this? <laughs> <laughs> I actually, um, the voice is on point. Like, it gave me a whole different vibe. So I really appreciate it. And this was produced by Doc Holiday. So shout out Doc Holiday. Yep, shout out to Doc Holiday. And primetime visuals. Prime -time. Armani. Parking lot, see you pull up. 
Back to that one because we might got to finish that one, girl. Because that one, yeah, that's quiet and get you looking at honey. Chris had to take a sip off of that one. Hey, I got a question. You know, I mean, I, I'm asking for all men because you know, some guys that's you know looking at this right now and some ladies. Um, are you single? <laughs> come on now, I'm you just you just, come on. I am single, yes, I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> I'm single. But yeah, they around. <laughs> they around. They around. <laughs> I know how that goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How I go. Are you um? Do you see yourself settling down? Are you just having fun right now? Is are you looking for a special like they have to meet a certain criteria? It's tough out here, honey. Man, I am single. I am. I'm not ready to settle down and it's probably messed up. I'm just not, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> I'm just not ready yet. I don't know. Okay. I'm getting up there, I'm time. still not ready. Quiet, quiet on the set, please. Quiet on the set. Somebody had to blow my mind. That's what to make me probably ready like right now. That's kind of, yeah. yeah. What um what female artists inspired you growing up or even now? Um, not I can't say one. It's, I got Brandy, um, Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey, uh, later Beyonce. You know, yeah. For the most part, Sade, Aaliyah, yeah. Okay, all what gives you courage, Crystal? Because to be able to be so open with your womanhood, to be able to mm -hmm. so expressive with your sexuality, it's a lot of haters out here in the world. Like, what, what gives you that kind of courage? I know you a Leo, but outside of being a Leo, what gives you that courage? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, what give me courage to do? I don't know, I just like to be myself. And then, <laughs> that's that's like the courage. It take a lot, I think, <laughs> for people to be themselves. But that's, mm -hmm. I don't really know no other way. And I never was like censored when I was younger, like told not to say certain stuff and all that. So I kind of think that went over into my adulthood. Hmm. That's good. Hmm. So do you come from a family of um, like strong women? Yeah. 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 That's important. Yeah. What's one of the hardest things that you've ever had to do? Just period. Um, really singing in the studio with a whole bunch of people behind me. <laughs> yeah. So while I'm recording the song, like I like really like to be by myself in the dark or with some vibe lights, but yes, yeah, probably singing in the studio with people standing behind me. How long have you, have you been recording? Since I was about 16 years old. So, you, so you've been around the block, you, you know the studio. Yeah, yeah. Right. Any any um, live performances, anything we can check out or anything you've done before? Like what's your most memorable um, performance you've ever had? Oh, um, dang. Oh, in Chicago. I had a, a performance in Chicago. Um, I actually kind of won that night. When I had, it was like a dude on stage, hopping on stage with everybody, drunk um just doing what he wanted to do they let him up there for everybody's performance but then they was kicking him off of mine but i had already decided in my head like i'm gonna use him when i get up there i'm gonna dance on him you know and then she kicked him off in the middle of my show but i told him come back on you know that was my prop so i ended up using him and the crowd loved it that was probably yeah <laughs> my most memorable that's a real artist move right there crystal yeah, yeah it yeah. is um, going back to you having to record in the studio with other people behind you, was it a fear of judgment? Was it just because you like your alone time? Like, what was it having these people there that was so hard for you? What's really crazy is it was today. It was earlier today. Yes. Um, 
well, it was, yeah, fear of judgment, different, it's just different. It's daytime, they sitting there, like what they thinking, oh my God, like, am I singing it right? Is they looking at my butt? Um, <laughs> that type of stuff, all in my head at once. Um, but I was like, I'm, I'm actually, I'm getting ready to move to Atlanta next week. That's like a big old like, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting ready to move to Atlanta next week. So I was just in my head like, let me just do this. You know, ain't no telling what I'm going to run into while I'm there. So, right. yeah. Well, okay, definitely stay in touch because everybody got people in Atlanta. We want to hook you up with the right Most people. definitely. And make sure yeah. you keep going because you, 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 you have, a, and I tell Chris this too, and I know the thing about Chris today, but, you know, um, I like to think that I have a lot of different creative artists around me too. And Chris makes good music. Um, you and I both know Frank Nitty, Crystal. Frank uh, is a good musician. Um, there's oh, so many talented people in Milwaukee, and we don't get that recognition. So I hope Atlanta serves you well. That that's my thought behind that. Yeah. Are you excited? I'm very excited. I've been ready to go. <laughs> I've been ready to go. It just so much stuff got in my way, and this is finally like the time where nothing is getting in my way. <laughs> And it's like the path is clear, everything is opening up. So I'm like, let me go. It's like now or never for me. It's now or never. If I don't go, I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get pregnant. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the Milwaukee curse. <laughs> that's just, I mean, it's just gonna happen. Yeah, that's. <laughs> it's just gonna happen, <laughs> girl. Cause they will try to get you, honey. <laughs> I'm like it's gonna be coming soon, so I'm like, let me get up out of here and do it. Let me just do it. Let me just go. Yeah. yeah. And with your talent yeah. and everything, only thing I would say is don't let Atlanta, you know, be your 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 final your final destination. When you get to Atlanta, those are you know, Atlanta is one of those portal cities. So when you get there, be thinking about Texas. When you get to Texas, be thinking about California, Arizona. You know, you know, spread yeah. yourself thin because you are that talented. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. And it yeah. takes a talented person to be able to recognize that in another talent. So. Um, that's huge. Um, what's it like being a sex symbol? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you look at yourself as a sex symbol? That was the next yeah. question. Yeah. But I'm like, we ain't got to ask that. It's, there, honey. it's all over. <laughs> dripping. Oh, drip, drip. Man, I mean, I, I was, the only thing I would say is the the probably the inboxes could probably be irritating. That's that's probably it but of course you know everybody like attention we like getting attention but the inboxes could be kind of messed up i don't get a lot of people coming at me crazy because even though i i do be like sexy i don't know i i get a lot of queen type of stuff but it's still the fact that they still come and i don't know that could be just a game too but i don't get a lot of people coming at me wrong with it maybe it's the hair you know <laughs> but yeah, just all of that. All the inboxes probably be the most irritating thing about being a sex symbol. And I can only imagine how it is on a higher level with more people. Like, they got to be nuts. Hmm. So, yeah, sure. other than that, other than that, I'm, I'm like, okay, curious. Huh? I'm a little bit curious. What's your what's your most, um, your craziest experience with, with somebody who um, was, was interested in you? Somebody who took a liking to you? What's the most crazy experience that you've ever had with that thing? Crazy. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> y'all know what y'all know what safe house is? Yeah, yeah. Um, I okay, I went on a date with a dude to it was like I think it was like our second date to um is it called safe house? You know that little weird place we yeah. gotta we gotta yeah. get a code. Okay, so yeah, that's right. Yeah. We went on a date somewhere. I don't know. I know we went to landmark first, we went bowling, you know, yeah. and no, it's the day. It's my second day. I kind of liked him a little bit. I'm hugging him, kissing him and stuff. I guess he thinking that, you know, he gets yeah, some yeah. at the end of the night. We sitting at the table eating food at Safe House and um, he was like, yeah, so we finna go back and we finna do this. And I was like, no, I'm not finna do nothing. And he was like, what? Just being real. He like, man, I, I took bitches on, on dates and I get what I want. I got a bitch in New York right now and I he was saying all this mm -hmm. stuff, and I'm looking like, what? You know, he just telling me about his all girls. He's like, I get what I, all his girls, like, I get what I want. And then I'm like, well, you know, you're not finna get it. That's not finna happen just because we, you know, we went on dates and I like you a little bit. And he's like, oh, well, I'm not finna pay for your meal. <laughs> wow. 
went crazy on me. He was like, I'm not gonna pay for your meal. And I'm like, what? So then he ordered a couple more things and I'm looking like, okay, maybe he playing because he ordered some more things. He ordered some more stuff. They brought the food. He ate, he got up and you know the escape door? He got up and went through the escape door. Um, so I'm just thinking like, what the hell do I do? So <laughs> well, you got to run and make the escape too or shit. <laughs> like what the hell? So I just waited for a little bit. Um, then I just got up. Yeah. And I went through the front door and I just went real fast. I walked down the street. I called one of my friends to come get me. Then I felt bad. I was like, damn, I could at least pay for half of my meal. So I called the restaurant, um, <laughs> to let them know what happened. And they were like, yeah, we ran through the alley. We tackled him down and he refused to pay for your half of the meal. Oh, wow. <laughs> they tackled him into everything, though? <laughs> kind of guys out They just like, you refused to pay for half, your half of the meal, so we <laughs> paid for it or whatever. I told him I was going to come back, but I, ne I never went back, you know. <laughs> My bad, but... How about wow. that? And Petty Paul, we need to put his ass on blast. Ooh, we. Uh, mm. <laughs> well, you know, you live and you learn. He learned that day. Man. A woman. Yeah, a, a nice meal ain't all that. Um, um, a, a quick little game with you, Crystal. Um, it's called Smash, Marry, or Kill. Since you're a Ooh. single woman, but we ain't going to kill the guy. We're just going to kill the vibe, kill the connection, okay? Hmm. okay? All right, so I got five different categories. Smash, Marry, or Kill. Just one second, Crystal. A little okay. quieter on the set, please. A little quieter on the set. All right, smash Mary or kill the connection. Drake, Chris Brown, or Lil Wayne. Which one are you smashing, marrying, and killing the connection? Um, smash Wayne. Wait, hold on, wait. Smash Mary, kill. Yep, smash Mary, kill. Drake, <laughs> Drake, Chris Brown, and Wayne. Kill Wayne. <laughs> I'm with you on that one. <laughs> um, dang. Mary. Smash Chris. Okay. Mary Drake. Okay. Even though I don't like white skinned dudes like that, but you know, Drake could go. Oh. <laughs> All right. Now, hold on real quick. Because you know, I don't know. I know you answered that that question from the female perspective, but when when we are when we're thinking about we considering that you know what y'all expected from us, I'm looking at Lil Wayne who just sold that catalog and got how much money? Oh, a hundred million, million, almost a hundred million dollars. And you talking about Kill Wayne? It ain't all about the money. And he can boost your he can boost your career. It ain't all. I look at this in the charger. I look at stuff like that too, but he too he too much. But then you know what? Chris Brown is a little weird too, but. I don't know. Possessive, a little possessive, huh? But you look at y'all. Look, you know like, how many times it's dancer. Huh? He a dancer, too. You know he can be, you said smash Chris. You know he's good in bed. He's a dancer. You know what you're dealing with when you mess with a dancer. Yeah. yeah. And, he is, and Chris is a sex symbol. So, facts. All right. Smash, Mary kill, Crystal. Bill Cosby, R. Kelly, or Elvis Presley. I know, right? Oh, man. Hey, crazy. She ain't no room for nothing, huh? Smash, Mary kill. What? Um, Elvis, who? Who else? <laughs> Elvis Presley, R. Kelly, and Bill Cosby. R. Kelly, we're gonna kill, you know. What? You gotta smash or marry Bill, girl, or Elvis. I'm smash Bill because it must have been, you know, good. <laughs> 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 hey, and they. And some of the accusers got their college paid for. <laughs> I'm not with the, you know, the Kelly stuff, but Elvis, OMG. I don't even know. Whatever. <laughs> I'm going to put him in there. Okay, smash, Mary kill, Crystal. Michael Jackson, Prince, or Morris Day? I don't even really know who Morris Day is. Right, these might be your auntie's people right here. What it is? Like smash, Michael. <laughs> you said Michael. Yeah. You gonna smash Frank? Okay. People smash. What? He was he was dark skin. What? <laughs> hey, you want, you want the old Michael? <laughs> it's in there. You can't take that away. Oh, Michael. It's in his. Can't take that away. <laughs> 
Okay. Okay. Two more. Smash, Mary, Kill, Pharrell, Kanye West, DJ Khaled. Oh. You are beautiful. Let me tell you. Let me give you the key. You are beautiful. Uh -huh. that's, that's Khaled. That's Come on, DJ now. He's trying to get Jesus Christ. That Come was on, a now. bad. That was a bad. Ah. That, yeah, Chris. All right, my bad. No, no Grammy or <laughs> not Grammy, no Tony Award for him. <laughs> Do y'all see he coming to? I still got the video from that night. He's tomorrow in Chicago on the stage. I saw that. I That's saw crazy. That. Oh. <laughs> he said that. He will always remember that night. Oh. Is that the guy you danced on? Um, I don't know. I'm like, I don't know. Well, you got a fan, honey, because uh -oh. he is right there. Uh -uh. Shout out Dante. Dante, does she dance? I know who he is, Dante. I know who you hey, are, but I don't, I just know. can't remember. Dante, I hope you don't be stalking on Dante. You're the guy that Crystal <laughs> called up there and had to put the moves on, Dante. Let us know in the chat. Dang. Okay, Crystal, last one. Smash, Mary, kill, Beyonce, Rihanna, Tiana Taylor. What? Yeah. Hold up now. Hold yeah. up. What? <laughs> Oh, the girls are oh, back. No. Beyonce, Rihanna. Oh my God! Okay, hold up. I'm okay. smashing Rihanna. I'm smashing Rihanna off the bat. Hey, over to Rihanna. Rihanna the one after bunch to me. Yeah, I'm smashing Rihanna. You know what? You know what? You know what? Dang, that's crazy. I don't never want to smash Beyonce. Oh, so I would kill Beyonce. You know, I never wanted. I never looked at her like that. But man, Tiana or. Rihanna? In my eyes, like Rihanna would be easy. Quiet on the set. Smash Tiana. Yeah. Okay. Mary Riri, but definitely smash Tiana. Who said Rihanna? You said Rihanna? Riri is a, Riri. a billionaire, so it makes sense that you would marry her. And she called her. Yeah. <laughs> but Tiana, yeah, Tiana, yes. Yeah, Tiana dope. She yeah. is dope. She is sexy. She is sexy. Tiana is. She is. She, is. she, is. she really is. I like she it. really is. I like but ain't nothing like that Riri, though. Riri bringing it, honey. Them curves. She got that little vibe. Okay. Um, any advice? Um, well, there was a question actually on the set. Can you ask that question, sir? What problem does she think the world needs to fix? What problems do you think the world needs to fix? And I'm going to run to the bathroom right quick. Sorry, y'all. Homelessness. Why you say that? Why you say that? Because it makes absolutely no sense to me. You have so many abandoned homes, empty buildings, stuff like that. People should not be sleeping on the streets nowhere. Okay. Homelessness. Okay. You don't have no experience with that, do you? Not like that, but yeah, definitely, but not on that level. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was getting to when it comes to self-abandonment. Like, you know, you, you ever feel like somebody ever abandoned you or you felt like you was alone in this world? Mm, not really. I can't really say that. Because if I've ever felt like that, it's something I did to myself, you know, because I got too, too much family, too many people that love me. Right. So I never had to feel it on that level. Right, so you have you have a very strong support system, you know where you know where where your, I think where your talent comes from, and I think it shows, um, you know, just in this conversation and in the art forms that you have as well, you know. So I want to get back to that music though, because it seems like, <clears throat> well, this is my opinion. I would think that the music would probably probably be your catalyst um, art, but what do you think is is the is the the, the biggest art form for you that's gonna that's gonna push you to where you want to go to? I know you you got everything. But what's your what's what's your ace in the hole? Which one you riding on? Um, I would say, I don't know. I would say dance. I don't know. I would say dance, but it's like all of them all together. I, like I said, overall, I just like to be an entertainer. But um, dancers, okay. dancing. I mean, just okay. Dancers need dancers. Singers need dancers. You know, it's that's kind of the one that everybody need. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I don't know if I said that right. <laughs> Your man need a dancer too, right? Yeah, yeah what? Hello. <laughs> you, where the singles at? You better bring them home. That. <laughs> so what, was your last, what was the last professional thing that you did, you know, involved in dance? Oh, dang, I don't even know. I remember um, when I first met you, you showed me a video. You just went to a dance class in Chicago. And it was like a hill oh. class and you showed me you was getting busy, girl. 
Oh, yeah. All the chicks. I always go to Chicago and take dance classes. So, yeah, that's just something I always do. Yeah. I might have I did more like- shows, but it's been so long since since doing shows. It's like, can't you fucking think? Yeah. We're going to um, look at some more of this video of you because it was um, so enticing. Um, so, we're going to. Do you have, do you have, um, I don't know if you got the WAP video that I did with Alicia Nicole. I oh, think. another good artist from the city. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't yeah. think we have that. We might have to try to figure that one out right quick. <laughs> That's Donovan Sherrod. Okay, like she good. Yeah. She's solid. Hold on, I got a question. Hold on, hold on. Every time I look at this video, I get you know. Every time I see your performances, your pictures, and everything, I got a different question that pop up. Uh, you said something about you know early in the morning cooking breakfast. Okay, what okay. you cooking tomorrow morning? <laughs> what you cooking in the morning? <laughs> what's, what's for breakfast in the morning? In the in. In the, in the crystal household what's what's for breakfast in the morning i actually you start your day off every day i'm not cooking tomorrow I, how do you, how do you start your day off in the morning uh, how do you get up how do you get ready i'm talking about i'm talking i'm talking about from uh what lotion you putting on or how you <laughs> like your eggs what's going on what i don't eat eggs i'm a vegetarian <laughs> i figure to speak so you know I know, right? But I'm like, I don't eat eggs. <laughs> but um, I was cooking eggs in that video, though. You saw that, right? Uh huh. Somebody screenshotted that and sent that to me. They was like, "You don't eat eggs, right?" They was like, well, "What are you doing?" Because <laughs> you a vegan, Crystal. You a vegan? Oh, is she a vegan? She's a vegan. She Somebody a sent that to me. You even for the kill your man, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I like her already. I like her already. Okay, um, I might have found the WAP. This might be a behind the scenes. Um, hold on, let me see. The WAP, you probably got to type in at least in the call name first, but yeah, we'll try that. it's on there. All right, we'll try that. Um, any advice for, while I'm looking this up, any advice for aspiring um, artists this year okay. who are looking to, to get in the modeling industry, who want to dance, who want to um, be singers, they may have a voice, but maybe they're a little bit, you know, unsure about themselves. What you, what, any advice for that? learn how to be sure about yourself early <laughs> that is that's well that you know that was for me for the most part but um yeah but that usually comes with a supportive background and stuff like that but being sure about yourself is so important you can't do nothing without being sure i 
feel like y'all disappeared. Oh, we might have. No, we're, we're, we're trying to find this video. You know, no, I got some more crazy. questions. Chris got some more questions for you. I'm I mean, because when we, I'm, I'm, I'm on a, I'm, I'm standing on the topic of, of, of your aura, what you got going on, your, your music, your, your, um, your modeling, everything, your dancing, everything says, everything speaks to your, com your how comfortable you are with your sexuality. And I don't want people to, you know, to, to get it mis mixed up that, <clears throat> that it doesn't have any um, value to it, you know, that, or, or, or that is shallow. And, you know, cause I don't believe that is. I, I believe that when, when the person is comfortable in their sexuality, I think that they're, I think that they're, um, that they're in tune with who they are and, you know, they identify themselves for what they want to identify themselves as. And they're not, they're not so hung up on the world saying, you got to be this certain kind of person. You know, at this particular age, you should be here. I, 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 at this particular age, you should be at this point, you know, or um, <clears throat> because you come from where you come from and who you represent, that your image should be different. You know, what do you say about that? What do you, what do you think about that? Good question, Chris. Because, well, hi. Well, that was like a couple questions. Uh, <laughs> what do I say about? I'm trying to bring your question back. About people, you know, just just telling just, you how to live your life. Yeah, or, or or trying to say that you're not, you know, you're not reaching high enough, or that what you're doing is shallow because it because it's heavy in because it's Man. heavy in your because it's, You know, I mean, only only problems I usually. Problems, I have ever really gotten just being for real is from like ex-boyfriends or really ex-boyfriends. That's the only thing who ever gave me problems. Um, my daddy always told me, you know what kind of woman you are. I know what kind of woman you are. Stuff like that. Like this just, I don't know, when people do stuff like that, it don't define them completely. It don't make me completely because I like the twerk and shit. It don't make me just, it's not me as a whole because I got an OnlyFans stuff like that right. so people are shallow in their own i don't know it's just that's just a reflection of how people think exactly. Exactly. <laughs> that's how I feel. because man exactly and let me now let me ask you that since we're comfortable here in this space right here right Thank now you. That's good. when it comes to when it comes to um um dating you know and it's whatever preference or whatever it doesn't matter um what's your most what is the most the, the most memorable, the best experience, most wildest, the thing that you know you can never repeat because you know it got to be at the right time and it's just all the all the stars lined up at that moment. Talk to us about that most that most memorable moment you've had in your sexuality with sexuality? your partner. You <laughs> asking the best time I had sex. What was that? Yeah, what was it? Yeah, best time. Best time. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying to this point, I'm saying to this point, what was the one that stood Woo! up when I made you say, now this is me. I'm comfortable in this space. This is, I don't give a fuck what's going on around all that, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm having my own flashback, but go ahead, girl. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I was going to get to this. You I was okay. Like, this spot. That, this this thing is too, spot. You understand it's that. too clean. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Uh-huh. Now, now see, now, now, now see how they get quiet? See how they get quiet now, audience? All this, all this, I'm free. All this, I'm free. You know, you know what I'm saying? And now you can't even answer this simple question. What's going on now? She gonna tell you a bomb back Woo, shit. Yeah, take you a drink. Take you a drink. <laughs> Up here twerking. You got, I see you got your shorts on, your 90s on, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, now the real question's coming out. What's going on? But Talk to me. Hey, man, to add on to that, Crystal. Crystal got this. <laughs> Who is that? What's her name? You got some, fan, you got some only fans in the back too. Ooh. Um, Coco Renee. Um, yeah. That's the thing. Like my bet. Okay, look, y'all want it? I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm spicy. Okay. All right, hey. go ahead. There we go. Um, I like it hot. You heard what Crystal said. She's spicy. She 
Even if he had your ass. Jalapeno. She got you good. She got you good. To some, to a certain extent, I'm going to say, I am okay with my man having fun with me and, you know, another woman. <laughs> Shit. Hey. Hey. You only live once, boo. You only live once. Yeah, so to extent, you know, if he deserve it or if I, you know, if I'm dumb enough to think he deserve it or if I have been dumb enough <laughs> to think they deserve it. I know I ain't never so, but I understand. I'm a little stingy though. I knew you had us. Did I put you on the spot with that question, Crystal? You did. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm still like I'm just shit. saying. I'm I'm just taking in everything, and you know, I'm, I'm trying to get on your level. So I'm trying to see this. This this is how the conversation gets started. <sighs> Fuck. It's okay. You got you got a lot of cheerleaders that that's with you. They feel you, so you good. You good. But um, I had I had a girl that was willing to have fun with me and my guy, and shit, we picked her up one night, and you know, in the truck, I, I think we both was riding in the front seat, and I just told him go back there, you know, get in the back with her. You know? <laughs> I'm driving. I just want to I just want to enjoy himself. That type of thing. Uh-oh. Um, I'm gonna say we rolled to the lake. She was kind of like okay with doing whatever I wanted to do because she liked to have fun too. But we both took our clothes off completely. We went um <laughs> in the park. Man, I'm done. I am done. I'm getting on, some now. ideas here. Come <laughs> on, boo. <laughs> Thank you, that because that's cool. I'm like, I don't know, my hands is. If y'all, I don't know if y'all can see this, but my hands is wet. My hands is wet. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> As we're trying to calm her, but you don't got people hey. hype over here. I mean, because you know you got things like the oh, office. You know, here. you got the office, you got the, you got the, you got the mall. I know, but they of course, everybody in the car, vehicle in the park somewhere. You know, Man, I mean, we, we, in all, the park. We, all, we all do it. We all do it. My thing is, like I said before, um, we you know we like to have fun here at the G Spot. And, and when it comes to <laughs> topics like this, you know. We, we like to talk about it. I'm just sum it up. We was outside naked and we had fun. <laughs> there you go. Hey. That's it. That's it. That's all. That's it. That's all. That's it. Yeah. Woo. I mean, I think it's a beautiful thing. And I think one of the things, just to add on to this, that. Can y'all see this? Y'all can't even see my hands sweating. That's ridiculous. My hands is really sweaty. That's nuts. <laughs> well, you know what they say about sweaty hands. Don't even get me started with that. <laughs> what? Let's get you up top. The best sex ever. <laughs> what? Sweaty hands, they're good in bed. That that's a saying. Yeah. Dang, I never heard that. That's my first time hearing that too. Good to know. <laughs> South Americans, they they didn't they didn't put me on. But um just the 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 I quiet on the set, please. Just the idea of you being open to when you want your man to be pleased whether it's by you or any other, you know, that selflessness, honey, mm. it, uh -oh. ain't, it ain't common. Uh-oh. It's not. <laughs> uh -oh. So I, I um. appreciate that. I understand it. And the fact that, you know, you 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 understand it and, and can talk about it and embrace it is huge. I think a lot yeah. of women right. could learn a thing or two. Yeah, some people think like, oh, what if he end up wanting her more? I don't know. I don't know. You got to just know when the time is right. Stuff like that. I get stuff like that and people are like, oh, you stupid or you weird or I don't know. I'm just okay with it. I don't think sex just mean, I don't think sex mean everything. It's important, you know, who you tie yourself to. But I'm not going to, yeah, I don't know. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> I am done with that. 
<laughs> well, one of the things, one of the things, Crystal, before we get out of here with our last couple of comments is yeah. um, what I respect about you is the, the, the ownership of the woman that you are. There's not a lot of women who own their womanhood. And a lot of guys are intimidated by that. And I know you're aware of it. I know you understand mm -hmm. it. it. It gives you a certain kind of power. Um, mm -hmm. And you could, you could abuse it or you can use it to your advantage. I'm hoping you use it to your advantage, but um, I don't know what I, what I, what I, where I, where I want to go with that. But my, my thing is just the respect that I have for you for owning that. Cause a lot of women, they, they, they not dumb themselves down, but they shut that down. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They, they don't embrace that. Yeah. And to be able yeah. to own that and be like, this is me mm -hmm. and, and, and get with it or not is huge. Yes. Right. Yeah. Everybody be because because dudes like to throw the whole word out there. Mm -hmm. That's like the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The only problems really come from shit ex boyfriends. They don't start off like that. They you know they end up like that. <laughs> yeah, because I because I and, and it, just piggyback on what she just said. You know that, that's so true because you know men take the men we we get the we get the the short end of the stick when it comes to a woman who's not um, open with you know in her sexuality when she's when she got the gates up because she's scared of the stigmas that may come along with it, the stereotypes that society places on women and excuse men for, you know? And men who actually who deal with those women, those, those kind of women, you know, they're never satisfied, you know, because she's not open, not necessarily open to what he, you know, wants, but she's not open to her own wants, you know? Oh, right, yeah. right. You know, mm -hmm. so I get it. I get it. So basically, it's a lot of people out there that got some terrible that. sex lives, girl. Yeah, I like how you said that. Yeah, but I like to say, I mean, whew, I don't know. Do you know how dudes act like they got a problem with certain type of women, but they really love them type of women? Right. But they want their woman to be a certain way. But it's, that shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> Deal with a lot of that. But yeah. Yeah. It's all public. It's all public facing and all ego driven. So whatever. Right. Deep down, you know, you, your inbox proves it. As you say, you can't, the inbox is driving you insane, honey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So what's next? What, what are you wanting to do next? We know you're going to Atlanta. What is your goals with that? What do you have in store? My goal is to just work. I want to see what it's like to work somewhere different. And just to be honest, like I done kind of lost my drive to do certain stuff just in Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. After just doing it for a while, I don't know. I just want to go do it somewhere else and just try my luck somewhere else, different scenery. Um, and I don't, you know, some people be like, "Oh, Atlanta ain't no different, ain't no different. You're gonna be, it's gonna be the same stuff going on over there." But I'd be like, "Well, at least you know, if I did go work a job, I can get off of work and probably go to a movie audition. You know, stuff like that." Right. Yeah. yeah. More opportunities. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Absolutely. Well, I hope the best from you, sister. And I know, I know, I played around a little bit and joked around, you know, poked a little bit. <laughs> it was but, fun. But you know, here, you know, here at the, at the G Spot, we want people to feel comfortable in their, in their own skin. And this whole space is for people to learn how to be comfortable with who they are. You know, we have a, a variety of topics. You know, this isn't the, you know, certainly isn't the the only one. But we most definitely appreciate you for taking that leap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you know what if I was there I probably wouldn't have been as comfortable to say certain stuff because it would seem you know but this is pretty cool I appreciate it for real yeah we appreciate you we appreciate you babe yeah um and we might want to bring you back to get on with the guys and girls we need the free, okay. talk, the free yeah. liberals so Most definitely. in two weeks we got the ladies on <laughs> and the guys. like multiple ladies multiple ladies okay okay going yeah. to <laughs> And um, next week, we actually have um, an author on, I said, Jock, Jock City, um, Jock, Jock, Jock City, um, Phoenix. He'll be on to talk to us. Um, so we'll, we'll, we look forward to hearing from him. But Crystal, we thank you. We thank you. Um, keep up the good work. Keep us informed. We'll be in touch. We're going to bring you back. You're, I think you're paused or frozen right now. But you Y'all froze on me. I don't know if you hear me, but y'all froze on me. Mm -hmm. Oh, you froze on us, mm -hmm. but you still were in the model pose, girl. Like, okay. Uh oh. <laughs> so that was dope. Um, but any last minute words that you want to share? Any anything off your mind? Anything to the people? Um, I hope I didn't say too much. 
Uh, <laughs> I'm a good girl and a bad girl. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That's it. I don't know. This is fun. This is fun. I don't do. I don't do too many interviews, but I appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. And I feel like y'all, you know, kind of getting me ready. Yeah. 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 Appreciate Everything it. Everything yeah. happens in, in good timing. This was good timing. Well, that's, don't forget about us. That's the manifestation, baby. Right. You're gonna blow up. You're about to blow up. So don't yeah, forget about us. When you blow up and we want that next interview, don't be like, I don't do that. Well, no that's that's what <laughs> that's the real news. Don't be don't be doing don't that. Be like, when? Yeah. <laughs> what? This was nice for real. Yeah. ATL stand up, y'all. Crystal yeah. coming your yeah. way, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal, we thank you. We love you, baby. We'll see you soon. Thank y'all. All right. Peace out. Bye. Bye.